so hello everybody, what is up, Bradley Gaming here, and uh, welcome to a weekly series that is going to be on my channel, and um, it's going to be like a commentary, that's, that's all I can think of it as for right now, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay in the background, and um, while I'm playing this, uh, oh, wait, what? Okay, I had to remove my comment because it seems like somebody else commented for me. Anyways, so I would like to say thanks for right now on camera to NoFace52 for the congrats. Thank you. And I'll even put it uh, while I'm commenting right now. And, um, I mean, uh, while well, commentating right now, not commenting. <laughs> so I'm replying to some of my comments right now. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's technically all I'm doing. Uh... So, I just want to thank you all for 200 subscribers, since, um, honestly, I, I never thought I would reach it. I, I never thought I would reach it this fast. Like, I start, I don't know why, but even my friend, uh, joked about this, and I'll have his link to his channel in the end of the video. He's finally gonna be getting a shout-out. He's been wanting a shout-out for, like, the longest time. We were gonna be doing a, a diss track on each other. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna let you guys know. And um, he's gonna have his channel at the end of the video. If you guys wanna go check him out, he's pretty cool. I know him in real life. We're really good friends. Uh, we make jokes about diss tracks. And um, that that uh, diss track though is coming soon. I'm not gonna lie that that diss track is still coming soon. And I'll work on it today since uh, today's my day off. Even though, like, I can't really um, do that right now. So uh, yeah, because uh, I wanted to start this, but well, I could have the day off. But okay, now I'm just getting confused. So um, yeah, and. Uh, I do want to talk about certain comments that are on older videos for uh, my Splatoon 2 video. I was so mad because um, they didn't release um, Splatoon 2 as two players. So technically, I'm not gonna lie, Splatoon, the first Splatoon is better than Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 seems like the original Splatoon and then Splatoon is the new one. That's a personal thought, though, because if you really think about it, how does the second one not have two players, but the first one does? Like, Nani? What? Oh, by the way, Nani equals what? Um, for Japanese, if you didn't know that. It's the only thing I've been screaming recently, and, um, Etico World Network from Etico on the World Network. <laughs> um, no, but, yeah, and, uh, I don't, I don't know what else to say, but just commentate. So that's all I'm gonna do. Got, gotta hit the 10 minute mark. That's what every YouTuber has to do. Don't worry, I won't be like rice gum and just um, put a picture that says "gotta make it 10 minutes." He literally did that. And uh, don't worry, I'm not just gonna go on him about that. Also, PewDiePie did it, which was the inspiration behind it. Okay, let's not talk about 2017 drama, it's 2018, and uh, if we, we want to talk about 2018 drama, let's talk about Suicide Forest. Um, actually, yeah, let's talk about that. So, I ain't gonna lie, Logan, or Jake, well, who the hell did that, I don't even know. All I have to say is, you should have been, you should have just edited that out. I, I don't know why I can't pronounce that word right, but that would have been so much easier. 
how do you not watch your video before you upload it? I do that, okay. I do that, uh, sometimes, well, no, I do that all the time, except, uh, I guess I'm playing, I'm kind of ruining myself right here. Well, not ruining really myself, but Luigi U, I didn't watch the video over and I just edited the video together. I'm like, okay, here we go. Here you go, Luigi U. And, uh, he's gonna have to re-upload that and, uh, edit that out. The parts that messed up. And, um, I hope you did, uh, like the new video on Luigi U. There's gonna be a new video coming out soon that is going to be, uh... I, I work with him, you, you know, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, crap, I forgot. So, oh yeah, the video that's gonna be going out on this channel is gonna be, um, a Martin Luther King video. It's gonna be, like, about, kinda, like, like, politics, but, like, racism and stuff and about that it's gonna get crazy but I can't that, that's all I'm gonna say I don't really want to spoil a video that's I, I, I already said too much when I said Martin Luther King special on that channel so this could get hyped for that and you could also get hyped for the re-upload actually you know they think but I'll just re-upload the video for them um, I'll re-edit the video <laughs> I'll uh, re-edit that and make it better <laughs> I did the first time. And, um, yeah. And, uh, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of something. Something for the commentary, but I can't. Uh, okay. So, in one of these commentaries that I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be doing a message at the end of the video. And, uh, all I have to say is, Watch what you're doing, and I will even have some stories in these videos, but just watch what you're doing. I hope you do like the background music too. I, I'm really going all the way for this. I'm like, yep. And um, I gotta tell you guys something. To, but you're wondering, why is a uh, Call of Duty World at War gameplay um in the background and not any other Call of Duty? That uh, has zombies in it. That was the create. That was the time when zombies was created. And I gotta say something. That's also when my birthday was. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. The release date of um, Call of Duty World at War is straight up my, re my release date. No, my <laughs> my birthday. So I'm gonna crap, I'm gonna go type in um. What the heck? The Release. Dude, I already know what my birthday is. Um, for well, that word. I want to make sure it's accurate. So my birthday is um August 29th, and and uh, that's when I was born. So um. Truth most Call of Duty series called World War II. Oh, no, not that. Call of Duty. Here it is, right here, right here. <clears throat> I know it wasn't. It was released in 2010, though. I was not born in 2010. Like, who do you take me for? Okay, I am not born in 2010. So it was. Call of Duty World at War is a 2008 first-person shooter video game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision, which is a terrible company. Activision is terrible. They, they were known for ruining games. Crash Bandicoot, um, that, that, that was like my childhood, and um, Mario, which was my first ever game, so that's so why I play it so much. It's my first game, and I literally have a Switch right here in my hands. Even though in the game I'm not playing um, Switch, I'm playing Xbox. I'm just doing my commentary to sit down, and relax, and and then um, that way I'm not focusing on the game. Even though that's mainly what. Okay. Anyways, I, I don't want to get too confused, so let's get back to this article, um, which is on uh, Wikipedia. 
uh, Call of Duty World at War is a 2008 first person shooter video game developed by Treyarch and, and published by Activision. Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Wii, and Xbox 360, the game is fifth mainstream game of Call of Duty series and returns the setting to World War II for the last time until World War II, almost nine years later. The game is the first title in Black Ops storyline and the first zombies. Don't forget about that. The game was released in North America on November 11th, 2008, and in Europe on November 14th, a Windows version, sorry, um, the camera died, so that sucks, and, uh, we're currently 10 minutes in, I, I already noticed, but, uh, anyways, so, mobile version was also made by Glue Mobile, and, uh, Glue Mobile, I cannot believe it actually is, and different storyline versions for the Nintendo DS and PlayStation 2 were also produced, but remain in the World War II setting. The game is based on an enhanced version of the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare game engine developed by Infinity Ward with increased development on audio and visual effects. The narrative uh, for the Microsoft Studio Windows, not Studios, Position 3 Wii and Xbox 360 version focuses on the Pacific Theater and Eastern Front theaters of World War II involving the United States. Okay, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but, um, so I said this was released on my birthday, which is August 29th, and it says January, which is uh, not true for the Xbox, because here, I'll show you the exact release date for the Xbox 360, which was the day that it released on my birthday, so call release date. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I gotta get back to this. And, uh, yeah. Okay, okay so it's gonna be it for today's video. But, uh, okay, so I, all I gotta say is, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. You can go look it up for yourself. Go into the Xbox 360 store and go see it. From there because that's where I can see it, but for some reason it says the site cannot be reached. I'm having those problems right now, so it's not really the best. And um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. And I said I had it ended off with a message, so uh, the message is uh, live your life like you're being watched, okay? It's actually really helpful, and also. Another message will be in tomorrow's videos. These are just basic lessons, so um, some of them are not always basic. Uh, how to do basic? No, I'm joking. Um, and it's uh, talking about World War II. What? What? What a coincidence when I type in World at War. Okay. Anyway, so I'm saying it's the message and the message. Anyway. Okay, so I hope you did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. There's uh, nothing really for me to do right here, so I don't, I don't. Uh, I'll just end the video. Hope you guys did like that message that I said. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I'll just end the video here. And that's the message. Live your life like you're being watched, or if you want a more better message. You're gonna have to see in tomorrow's video. Anyways, see you guys later.